Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to euthanize insects uh, for your collection. Right here I've got this beetle, this longhorn beetle that I'm going to euthanize and put, add to my collection. Um, there's a couple ways to do this. Well, I only use two. Some people also use one other way that I don't recommend because it's kind of pointless. Anyways, the first method is to just put it in a container and stick it in the freezer for a couple hours. Um, that will just kill them. If you just leave them in there for like 30 minutes until they look like they're when they're stop moving and they look like they're dead they may not actually be dead they may just be their metabolism and like body may just be slowed down so much that it looks like they're dead so leave them in there longer than you think you can even leave them in there for like a day and it's not gonna hurt your specimen you can leave I've left insects in the freezer for months and it hasn't hurt them at all and then the other method here is this is kind of a bigger jar but it's a, it's essentially like fumigating them. Um, what's in this container is just, uh, at the bottom is just plaster of Paris. <coughs> oh, gosh. And then it, on top of the plaster of Paris is, uh, soaked into the plaster of Paris is acetone, 100% acetone. And the fumes for that will essentially just kill your insects. This is best for the field, but I hate it a lot. Like, I really hate it a lot. Because I feel like the insects are suffering before they die. So I like to freeze them so they kind of just, like, slow down and die instead of just being horrifically suffocated with poisons. Um, so there's that. But this is good if you don't have access to, a, like, a refrigerator or an ice box or anything along those lines. Like, if you're out in the field for a long time, just have a container like this. But sometimes what I do is I'll just, like, if I'm, like, just on a day mission, I'll put, put it in a jar and then freeze it when I get home. It, it yep. Yeah. Uh, the method that other people use that I don't really use is, like, a CO2 box. Um, seems a little expensive, but what they do is they just have a container with, like, an airline going into it with CO2. They pump CO2 into the container and it essentially just uh, suffocates the insect again uh, by depriving it of oxygen and s killing it with CO2. If this video was helpful, I'd, you should like it and subscribe to my channel for other insect videos, as well as fish and art videos.